the people who say, thank God for Ted Cruz for standing up, even though he didn't have the power to do much else, but at least he stood up and said it. Well, you know, but there are Republicans who are saying, why are you threatening me? I have a Republican <laughs> seat. What are, you, what are you trying to do here? And there is that point going back to uh, what we've been talking about, which is, is this a congressional party? the Republican Party, or is it a presidential party? Because if you want to become a presidential party, you have to attract independent voters. And independent voters may not love Obamacare, but they don't want to shut the government down. And, you know, that's, that's the debate going on inside sure. the party right now. Let me jump in for a second. I want to get Wolf uh, to take a look at those numbers along with me. They're moving targets right now, but I think you can pretty clearly see it looks like the Republicans already have the majority. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. 225 or 226, they already have. They needed 217. So as fully okay. expected, the, the, the uh, legislation to keep the government working but defunding Obamacare has passed uh, st almost strictly along party lines. There are two Democrats who voted, at least so far, with the Republicans. And I can't make out how many uh, Republicans are voting against uh, the, are siding with the Democrats. What's that top number under well, Nay over there? Let me one. jump in right, right now. So I want to only, listen to it live. So you got, Let's listen you got to it live one Republican, for a one Republican siding with the Democrats. Uh, this is this is. Uh, I can tell you, uh, just as we could easily predict what would happen in the House and the Senate, the Republicans will not have enough support to uh, to pass the same legislation. There will be plenty of support to keep the government working, but not enough support to defund Obamacare. And then what happens, as, as the Speaker John Boehner says, next weekend, when presumably the last minute, maybe even the last second, negotiations take place leading up to midnight uh, in order to prevent a government shutdown. And we're, I'm sorry, Wolf, we were trying to get that moment where the gavel comes up and the order is uh, given, but I, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to see exactly in the milling about when that's going to happen. I wanted to be able to listen to, to that live for a moment. On this vote, listen. the yeas are 230 and the nays are 189. The joint resolution is passed. Without objection, a motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Okay, lest anyone who's just tuning in right now should think that what you're reading on the bottom of your screen and what you just heard was that it's over and Obamacare is being defunded. That is not. Be in order. That is not what's happening. In fact, here is what's happening. Just to recap at 20 past the, the hour, a vote was just taken on a continuing resolution bill which keeps the government operating past October 1st. Good. And then also defunds Obamacare. That was the concurrent resolution that was bobby pinned to that uh, continuing resolution now that's not where it ends it goes over to the senate and by all intents and purposes just about everybody knows it has no possibility for traction there ultimately then right back to the house you're looking at right now gloria borger pick it up there are we just going to see the same thing all over again that decision that